Scott, do you want to give us a little bit of background or, or history on these two books of Scripture, Matthew and Luke? Sure, I'm happy to, Ben. These are uh, uh, what we call synoptic gospels, so gospels that uh, uh, see the story of the Savior very similarly and are often uh, tell some of the same stories, but from a different point of view or a different perspective. Matthew, of course, uh, is one of the original 12 apostles. So this will be an apostolic uh, testimony of the life of Christ. Matthew is a publican uh, or a tax collector. So he's um, a really popular guy. Oh, I'm sure, uh, as you would imagine. <laughs> uh, 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 you would imagine. Uh, so Matthew uh, seems to be writing to a Jewish audience. And so he will draw very heavily from the Old Testament. Okay. Uh, Luke is a missionary companion of Paul. He shows up in the Gospels, uh, or sorry, in the, in the epistles as being a companion of Paul on Paul's missionary journeys. He's called the beloved physician uh, in Colossians. And, uh, and so he seems to be an educated individual uh, writing to uh, likely a Gentile audience. And, and so he'll try to portray the Savior as um, the Savior of all the world. And we'll talk about that here in a minute, but uh, the, these two books of Scripture contain genealogies for Jesus, and the way those genealogies are portrayed uh, are done in a way because of their, their uh, audiences and their themes. So Luke will portray uh, Jesus as the Son of God and Savior of the entire world, whereas Matthew will draw more directly connections to the Son of David, Son of Abraham. 